Hey guys, people are weird. People are weird and I'm going to talk a little bit about how I as a content creator deal with weird people. So everybody has to do with weird people in whatever capacity that is. It's not specifically a thing for content creators. It's just when you are an entertainer, a content creator, a person of influence, whatever, where a lot of people know you for something that you do and you have, whether that's an audience, a following, a fan base, however you refer to it, people just get weird. And then the internet doesn't help because a lot of people develop their own personal parasocial relationships with you. Sharp as the dart said, peace, queen, what's up? And when i say parasocial relationship there are some people that okay even if you don't have like a huge following oh my gosh i thought that i got this off my face even if you don't have a huge following right you talk to people in the dm you video call people that you haven't met in person you know what i'm saying it's it's just like a thing that we all do because that's how the internet is what i realize is a lot of people have meshed their third dimensional life or their IRL their real life with the internet in a very unhealthy way so even if you didn't meet a person through the internet once they see the stuff that you post on the internet they start forming certain types of thoughts and opinions about you outside of their own direct interactions when what you're doing on the internet could be pure entertainment it could have nothing to do with your personality at all or you address the public very different from how you interact in private with people reflection of crystal said hey beyond weird factuals i don't get it and that's what i'm getting to this particular interaction i just had where i'm just like it's helped me uh i talked to somebody else about this a feminine i talked to her about it because like we had a situation earlier this year where i didn't do anything it was on her end and um it's just like she came back and apologized to me and let me know it you know it was all personal it was something that she was dealing with and basically I'm just kind of like the individual that people take out their anger issues on. I have so many Saturn placements. I, I'm Capricorn Sun. I have Capricorn in my chart. I have a bunch of Aquarius placements. So people just treat me weird because they feel weird about themselves. And it's like, okay, I look, I look crazy as fuck outside. It's hot. And I got on a sweatshirt and pants. I'm bundled up like this because it's mosquitoes. And I, I just, you know... I'm dealing with that and that's me and my most authentic self. I don't really care what I look like right now in appearance because I don't have to perform every single time I get on the internet where a lot of people feel as if they need to perform every single time they get on the internet, whether it's to go viral, whether they're trying to impress somebody or they have their brand a certain way. That's why I built my brand as my most, most authentic self just because is even phrases like that don't mean anything anymore because people lie all the time so i'm getting i'm getting to the thing so that i just had that interaction and conversation with the feminine and then i had an interaction with somebody recently like in the past couple of days and they were trying to have a conversation with me and i'm like you know i don't really have conversations with people like that anymore if i don't already know you or i don't have a reason to talk to you i'm only talking to you know people who pay for my attention essentially those who pay for my extra content in whatever capacity that is if i don't already mess with you like that and i don't have a reason to talk to you I'm not finna talk to you outside of a comment section i'm really just not finna give you the time of day for real so then they eventually pay for whatever service they got as a subscription or you know like a monthly payment thing and it's like people don't know what they want in life and then they take out that frustration on whoever it is they're seeking something from because my thing is i just got this stuff available you can use it if you want to use it if you don't want to use it you don't have to you don't need like people feel as if they need me and then they try to do this whole thing this reverse psychology thing of trying to make me think that i need them when it's like i don't know you you know me i don't need you you feel like you need me because i feel like you can get whatever it is you're looking for from somebody else 
I just happen to format things and process things and explain things in a different way than other people do. But it's like it's still available elsewhere. I'm not tripping. So this person decided to pay for whatever uh, communication service with me. And they asked, they did, you know, talk to me a little bit about things that were constructive. I gave, gave them some advice and it was cool. That's not even the basis of why I have my payment set up the way that I do. And this is why I also charge people to talk to me now. Because it's just like people are so weird and I was wasting so much of my time for free. So I'm like, at least I got paid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, at least I got paid. So this situation was just like, this person just thought they could just do whatever. Sharp as a dart said, maybe they see you in the same perspective as I do and they're attracted to your intellect. So, yes, at the same time, if people left it there and kept their own personal boundaries outside of business, that'd be totally appropriate and okay. And I'd see what you're saying. And that's what makes sense for most of the interactions I have with people who, you know, send me money in whatever capacity. It's always on a professional level and the only conversations we have are things that are active in the media, active on my page, active if they have a question about something that they may have interacted with me on. Like it's it is direct to whatever they're sending me money for. So this particular situation was, like I said, started off that way, right? And then uh sports guy leaves said peace god is what's good what's good and then they pay me and then they start treating me like i don't know what i don't know what it was in their mind that this relationship was that's why it's like these parasocial relationships people are very very strange because people who know me in person don't even talk to me that way so it's like you send me a little bit of money which isn't even the most that a person has sent me you send me a little bit of money and you want to call me. So I'm like, I text them, I'm like, you call me? And they were like, yeah, but if you're busy, you know, I totally get it. You know, it's, it's like, I, it doesn't matter if I'm busy. Like, you didn't ask to call me. Like, you didn't text me. We didn't arrange to call. Like, you can't just call me. And they were like, my apologies. You're right. I should have asked first. And then it was just like, they... They say, like, they interact with me in the comment section. And then they get in the DM and act very strange. And then they try to be like, oh, that money I pay, you're not worth the money I pay to talk to you. You treat people bad. I'm like, you have a mind that is fixated on something completely outside of what this particular interaction was supposed to be in the first place. That's not my fault. So on top of that, we're all spiritual and that's a whole, that's a whole separate issue where people try to create these narratives. And like, sometimes it is true where people tap into past lives and then they see, oh, I'm this to this person. I have to be close to them in this lifetime. And then we have to interact in this way in order for certain things like, you know, karmic clearing, karmic debt clearing, um, fulfilling a divine mission you know it's things that make sense but if those things are not talked about and communicated you can't just tell a person that they're supposed to do this and they're supposed to do that and provide no sort of explanation like niggas ain't going to a meditate meditative state together niggas ain't astral travel together niggas ain't went on a astral mission together nothing then all of a sudden this person is just like oh you're being rude what they say because it I, I think they said they said i disrespected them i forgot exactly how they worded it but essentially you're being mean to the one person who was sent to heal you and i'm like i'm healing myself first of all i'm healing myself first of all first of all i am healing myself that's first of all second of all i don't know you you're paying me i do not know you you are paying me. How is that of any benefit to me outside of my finances? What are you talking about? That's not healing. You ain't brought up no sort of conversation that is meant to assist me. You have asked me. This person went as far as to be like, oh, what health care plan you got? 
and you know how does it work for nigga i don't know you i'm not finna tell you my personal health care plan what are you talking about i just i straight up told them i was just like i don't discuss that with anybody and they were like all right and i'm just like people are very strange and it's not a thing where it's just like Oh, that guy is a little weird. You know, he was staring at me the whole time. He just, you know, wanted to ask me for my number or whatever. And he thought I looked nice. That's regular. That's normal. That's perfectly appropriate. Especially if I'm serving that day. To try, like, that's not even regular trying to get in somebody's business. That's not even regular being nosy. That's the type of stuff that make me think people are trying to kill me. Because it's just like, you ask me what my healthcare plan is. Next thing I know, all of a sudden, you know the people who know my healthcare plan. So if you put my name in the system, then boom, you know my address and you're trying to kill me. That's what the, like, I've had too many situations with people from the internet to not think that way. That's automatically how my brain thinks now because of the interactions that I've had with people. But even then, it's like, you know what I'm saying? If I'm talking to somebody I know already, of course, if they ask me what my healthcare plan is, I'll probably talk to them about it. But if if it's a customer on the internet that I don't even think they live in the same state as where my health insurance is, what are you, what, are, what, what even is that? Uh, reflection of crystal said entities with ulterior motives sports guy leaves said smh with the uh, face mellow javon 82 said dude quote it puts the lotion on the skin weirdo i don't know what that is i don't know that reference i don't be i don't know all that that sounds <laughs> I mean, what you know why i stopped finding worms in a because it's not spring anymore. Oh, so whenever it's spring, worms come out? They come out way more, yeah. Otherwise, you have to dig for them a lot. Mm, but we aren't digging for them? Not right now, no. So, yeah. So this is like, for anybody who wants to be a content creator or wants to get their name out there for anything, it's like, even the people who are customers, you gotta watch out for them too. And it's like, it's so weird because it's like, you wouldn't think that you have to deal with that type of stuff. Even me being a customer to some people, it's like, I gave you money. Why are you being weird to me? If I am supporting you, what what is that about? But it's like, people will see certain things and then feel a way and think that you owe them something even when you gave them something. So like I said with this customer, they asked me questions and I answered them that's what this is for this is for us to have open communication that's what you paid for and we did that so i don't see why you're trying to be up in my business like i'm not your friend you're not my friend just because i reacted to you in certain ways most of the time i'll be trolling anyway when i'll be replying to people's comments and they know they're talking to me crazy and like even sometimes in the dm sometimes in the dm i just be bored sometimes so i just be interacting with people being stupid myself because i know they're being stupid they think i'm being serious but it's like no you being stupid i'll be a stupid back to you so now you like i know i'm being stupid you over here thinking I'm being serious and that's your problem. You thought I was <laughs> You're the one I just stupid with me. So that's why I just be silly and I be trolling in the comment section. I boosting my algorithm for one thing and then another thing. It's just like it just it makes people stick around and they just I don't know. I don't know. I be having fun messing with people because they be messing with me, so why not? Huh? Hey. I'm on, I like I'm not on the phone. This isn't a phone call. Like, do you need help or something? No, so that means I have to stop talking. Yeah, like, go play. Go, Just go do your thing. You don't have to talk to me while you're playing. Mela Javon said, it's from Silence of the Lambs. It's an old video with Anthony Hopkins. My bad. Oh, okay, okay. Sharp Press the Dart said, I'm dying to know what type of money we're talking. It's not a lot. That's what I'm saying. It's not a lot. Not a lot at all at all like we're not at all you know what i'm saying my uh my book is 33 dollars and 33 cents it's not even that you know what i'm saying they did not buy a book from me 
<laughs> so we're not we're not talking about you know i'm on some low key like yo just one of my clients they paid me five thousand no it's nothing nothing it's nothing that's what i'm saying so what what in somebody's mind would make them think they're my friend <laughs> they're not even yo Reflection of Crystal said the reverse trolling always goes right over their heads. I'm telling you, they don't even be knowing what's going on because they're like, oh, well, they're interacting with me. Well, I, and then they keep commenting, they keep saying stuff. And it's just like, I'm just bored right now. And I feel like boosting my algorithm. All this is telling the social media pages, oh, there's a lot of comments on this post. Let me boost the post to more people because there's a lot of comments. It must be interesting. Whole time I'm fake arguing with somebody. They heated and I'm behind my screen like. Ah, 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 ah. Like. <laughs> Sharp as a dart said a gift is a gift. LOL. I mean, it wasn't a gift. It's a service. You know, it's a business. So it's not it's not like somebody just did something out the kindness of their heart. They pay me money and expected something out of it, which is business, it's commerce. Enterprise. But if if this type of stuff was explained to me, because like when I was a child, you know, people kept people know to keep their mind straight when it comes to children. Now that I'm grown and doing business, it's like, man, I would have, to, like, I was already a workaholic. I'm being honest, but it's like, how, oh, man, the type of, ba like, I wouldn't change anything. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. The type of money I would have made when people didn't treat me weird, bro, I would have went out of my way to, like, the mindset I have now, I would have made so much more money because I didn't think people were going to be this weird to me as an adult person. like bro because people just don't treat children a certain type of way they'd be like oh you have a business oh that's so cute here's my name i'm gonna go now and then they leave it there and it was peaceful now i'm grown everybody think some that is not and it's like it's so weird because i've been in situations before like before um you know being as popular as i am online because i've always been popular online in different spaces and stuff but now I'm in the more spiritual space with black people and everything. So it's been a different ball game with that. But I'm, when I talk about business, business, I mean, like, you know, a few thousand dollars here, one thousand here, a couple thousand there. That type of business I was doing when people was still being weird. So now it's just like and i'm really chilling i'm just chilling on a lot of stuff and it's just like okay well i got this service open i got that service open now so it's like okay cool people want to use it they can and it's like oh i need to talk to you i only talk to my customers you can hit me up though and then they get the service and it's like how did you wanting to talk to me turn into you're the only person who can heal me what do people be thinking about and why don't they communicate their thoughts and it's like, then the whole, oh, well, you're not worth the money I paid. I, all that's guaranteed is what I said was guaranteed with whatever content you're receiving and communication with me. I ain't got to answer every single one of your questions and I'm not treating you bad. You're just a weirdo. I don't know what you thought this was. Man. And that's the thing too. I'm not even going to say that. For real. Sharp as a dart says small change is a gift. I don't think you're listening. I do I do not think you fully comprehend what I said. I do not think that you're trying to have an open listening ear. And I do not think you are hearing the words that I'm saying for what it is that I'm saying. And that's a problem that a lot of males have when a feminine speaks. Y'all have the same issue when males speak as well, but it's especially when females speak. A gift is a gift because you feel like giving it. A business exchange is a transaction, whether it's small change or not. Shut up. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Reflection of Crystal said, these people be crazy as hell. They do. They do. And 
that's the thing too. I never gave a damn. So then the whole thing is like, oh, you're being rude. You're being mean. No, I'm not. I'm being logical. And when people stop being logical, then I have to be super logical. And then they per- they uh, perceive that it's being mean. It's not mean. If you're being stupid and I'm educating you and you're refusing to take the education for what it is, that's not my fault that you're stupid. And then you want to be in your feelings and be upset about it. Like I said, I got a bunch of Saturn and Aquarius placements. People fall in and out of my life all the time. And then they like to apologize and stuff. And I'd be having to be like, yeah, I, you know, I forgave you a long time ago. I f- I decipher whether I feel like their apology is genuine or not. So I'll be like, I accept your apology. I don't accept. Oh, you found a worm. It's cute. Yeah, although it's not spring. Yeah. Um, I accept your apology. I don't accept your apology, whatever. And then it's like, if I don't accept the apology, it's like, you know, fuck you. Yeah, I don't have to talk to you again. You know, appreciate the apology, even though it was fake. It's fuck you. I don't have to interact with you no more. Good on you for apologizing, but it's just like, what you did, what you said, how you interacted was just like not that wasn't it. That wasn't it at all. So whatever. Uh but then it'd be the people that I do accept their apologies and they I don't know. I don't know. I'm at the point where I don't even it's not that I don't accept apologies, it's just like I'll accept an apology and I'll still be like, I don't fuck with you. <laughs> it's like I accept your apology. I think it's genuine, but no, you got too much going on in your own mental space that has nothing to do with me. So I don't want to deal with it. And that's another thing. Like people be feeling the way because you don't want to deal with their problems. I don't want to deal with your problems. If I set a boundary and I say I don't want to deal with this, this, this about you. If it's a personality trait, I can't get around it. If that's just the way you are, I can't get around it. I don't have to be cool with you. I don't care. I do not care. Like what? I don't have to be cool with you just because I knew you before. And people don't, they don't get that. And so when it comes to this online stuff, it's just like, look, man, I'm literally, this is literally me just being as open and transparent as I possibly can. It's like, get your money and go, bro. This whole trying to build a community thing. Not just, you know, in a literal sense where everybody's living on the same land and stuff. No, I mean just having an online community, a genuine fan base, a genuine group of people who, like, fuck with the content. Whether they fuck with me or not as an individual, they like me and they like how I am as an individual, as a personality. They think I'm talented, whatever. I don't even, I I don't care. I really don't care. I've seen so many things happen with so many different people where it's just like, the way that cancel culture was okay how did we have cancel culture when it was like real back in the day right why do we have cancel culture now where it don't it's not even real we cancel people who don't deserve to be canceled and then the people who deserve to be canceled people pretend like they're canceling them and then they go right back to supporting them for whatever reason it's like nah it's it's all fake that's why i don't don't be caring that's why i don't be caring i'll be like whatever get my money and go the people who i do know cool you know we, I got to know them, but it, people just look at numbers on a screen too much. It's like, I am not 9,000, 10,000, 11,000 followers. I am not followers. I am the content that's produced. I am not the followers. I am not numbers on a screen, but people see that and then they just, I, they just, I don't know what type of mind they start developing. It's like, Oh, they they have numbers on the screen. Yeah, I've been doing the content, though. The numbers on the screen have nothing to do with the content. The numbers on the screen, are they just happen to be people who I may or may not interact with, but they interact with me for whatever it is that they enjoy seeing. I don't know. Then I got a bunch of hater followers. They follow me, and they don't even like me. I just see my story. One of my biggest haters is watching my story today, and they still follow me. And it's just like, I'm suing that nigga. And I already, they know for a fact, brother, I knew watching my story for the past couple of days. What the fuck? What do you want? What do y'all want? Y'all don't like me. Chief, why not was in my uh, stream the other day talking about peace and polygamy. Y'all do not like me. What are you on my page for? And I'm not scared to say y'all's names. That's the thing. People be scared to say shit. I wasn't saying much because I was getting the legal paperwork and stuff together. But now that I'm in a more comfortable space, I don't give a fuck. Like, what are you looking at my page for? 
there's nothing for you. There's nothing for you. I don't like you. You don't like me. Stay off my page. Like, if you need some information, like, you're trying to send me uh, your contact information for me to send you legal documents like the other person did or something, you can send me a DM. You didn't even open my last DM. That's the thing. People be on my page, brother I knew. People be on my page, and they don't answer my DMs. How? How are you on my page looking at what I got going on? You're not even trying to talk to me, and I already sent you something. That's the stuff I be talking about. It's psychotic. Like, I'm so serious. Then that's what I mean. People who get to know you off the internet, and even when you meet him in person, I know, brother, I knew him in person. I don't know him, but like, I was literally in Atlanta seeing that man every day for several weeks. Man, don't like me. What you on my page for? I got a studio ass because you tried to kill me. Reckless endangerment. Smear campaign. Defamation of character. Like what? No, oh, I didn't try to kill you. You gave me a loaded gun to practice in the backyard with. I don't care what nobody's talking about. All y'all tried to set me up. I don't care about none of that. So, people are weird, people are strange, and I'm just like, well, if this is what comes with being famous, I'm just finna be a regular celebrity then. I'm not finna try to be cool with y'all no more. Not in the way that I was. Like I said, it's like, if I'm already cool with people, cool. But it's like, otherwise, it's like, no. I already know the type of heights I'm reaching. And if this is the type of stuff I'm getting, like, back when I met Brother Anu and them, I only had like 5,000 followers. So it's just like... If this is the type of attention I'm getting at 5,000, 10,000 followers, I already know the type of goals that I'm attempting to reach. Uh, 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 I gotta be a different type of rich. People over here tripping and they not even paying me $33 for a book. And they tripping on me like I'm supposed to be their best friend. I don't know y'all. This is a screen. This is a screen. It's a portal. Nonetheless, it's a portal for sure. I don't know you. I don't owe you nothing. You don't owe me anything. Because then that person, they uh, they tried to be like, <clears throat> excuse me. It's not fair for you to be mean to people who blah, blah, blah. No more communication. So I was just like, okay. Like, I, I wanted to text back okay so bad. But it was just like, I just left them on scene. Then they all followed me. But it's just like. I don't, what was even your motive? What was even your goal? Because Bro, I'm so serious. That's exactly I want to gossip. I want to gossip so bad. <laughs> Be like, "Ow, oh, look at this person." Cuz like the whole thing of brother I knew, I'm already suing that man publicly. So I don't I don't mind saying his name on live. But the other person, you know, I I don't I'm not that messy. Where I have to just like put them out there like that. The only people I be putting out there like that are the dudes that flirt with me crazy. Like they be sending me pictures and stuff. I be like, like this one dude, he sent me some money for my solar return. This man go send me a gift talking about some, not was it a gift? It was an Instagram reel talking about some, uh, sending this to somebody who you jack off to way too much. And I'm just like, what the fuck? What in the fuck? Like, why? Why? This was before I even had my podcast. Like, I intention. This is why I set up the podcast. Because I was like, it's people like that. Then the whole thing with the scandal of that dude selling my pictures. And then just the way that people interact. The how many followers they were able to get. I was just like, you know what? I'm cute. And I'm just going to use that to my advantage at this point i'm gonna still come with the knowledge but it's just like i'm just gonna charge money because i don't got time for people being this fake how i got ten thousand followers and everybody fake that is so weird i'm so serious it happens to me on a regular basis i just don't be saying nothing people think i'd be tripping it's like no like this this was happening that's what i'm saying people were like oh well you attract that type of attention to yourself because you do this and you post this first of all what i post ain't got nothing to do with how a person interact with me that's sec and then second of all people have been doing this stuff since before i started posting sexy stuff at least to the extent that i was like last year last year i was having a ball i ain't gonna cap i was having a great time posting certain things but over the years you look at my content i don't be posting crazy stuff like that 
Uh, not not often, really, huh? Roly poly. Roly poly, cutie. I don't I don't be posting stuff like that. Like that's a one in a blue moon type of thing. So now I'm monetizing it with my podcast, and then somebody got my comments yesterday. They were like, "What type of audience do you intend to attract?" It, wait, do you intend to attract dressing like that? And I said the title of the podcast. They didn't reply to my comment, but it's just like, don't come for me. I will hurt your feelings in the most dry way possible because the podcast is called Tantric. Tantric Time Lords. We time travel and we utilize sacral chakra energy. Don't come for me. I know what I'm doing. It's all intentional. Like, what are you saying? (laughs) But, yeah. It just, bro. And I'm like, this this type of stuff happens to me right before whatever sort of big event shouldn't happen. I found out some tea too, because I know what brother I knew probably looking for. I know what he probably looking for. I'm not saying nothing. Y'all not, I'm not finna post it. I'm not finna post it, because I know what they're looking for. People talking about it. It's in the underground, underground. I'm gonna leave everybody in suspense. I love it, because I'm not the reporter person no more. Fuck y'all. Y'all not getting the information from me. Nope. You will get it from someone else. You will hear it through the grapevine. Somebody else gonna post it. I'm not confirming shit. I know what you're looking for. You ain't gonna get it. You ain't gonna get it. I don't care. I do not care. I heard about it. I heard about it for sure. It's crazy. Biggest plot twist of... I want to say biggest plot twist of the year, but... This the year of truth. Yeah. <laughs> man this year is the year of the truth and my thing is people still trying to lie in the midst of the truth getting out that's the part well, hey you ain't gonna hear it from me man I'm already suing your ass you and your wife so I don't care I don't care at all but yeah anyway <laughs> baby rose said hell yeah <laughs> Um, mm-mm. I stay with the T2. Somebody was like, I was on the phone and they were like, Ellie, you always be having the T. Like, I didn't even know that. It's like, first of all, you already know I got the T. You already know I got it. Second of all, like, the type of spiritual I am, I'm not a regular spiritual. I don't just do practices and, like, do spell work and witchcraft and, you know, do rituals and stuff just for the sake of a certain type of outcome i even uh last night i had dreams night before night before i had dreams about the people in my family i'll be having to let them know what's going on in the dream state this ain't content for me i have to send text messages to my personal family members and i'm related to and let them know what i saw in the dream state and give them whatever prophetic word whatever dream interpretation whatever oracle type of message i have to do that with my blood family members So, yes, I will do that with some of my spiritual brothers and sisters here for the sake of what I'm called to do by spirit. However, this is not content for me. This is just how I live. This is just the way. This is how my life has always been. I just now have started putting it on the Internet. Reflection of Crystal said the information just naturally comes to the righteous minds. Factuals. Factuals. Ooh, it's a pretty butterfly. See the butterfly when you said that? It's so pretty. I can't show you the trees of the way. It's so big and yellow. Ah, that was so pretty. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start being messy probably if I keep talking. Like, I, man. Talk about tea. I got so much tea. I just don't be saying nothing. I want to gossip so bad, but I'm a good person, so I don't be gossiping like that. <laughs> and that's the thing, bro. I've been wondering, oh my gosh, y'all don't be knowing the time. I be, yo. Crystal said, oh, butterflies. Yes, it was big and yellow. If Flying I, real high. If I were to catch it, then it would be really cool, but it's gone now. It's just high up. It could be in the tree, but it's just, it's all the way up there. But yeah. <sighs> I'm finna go. Being famous is hard. Not because of the work you have to put in. Like, I already have to deal with a lot. Creating the, like, going live. Creating the content that I need to create. 
Yellow is your favorite color. See? 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 Live example. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do anything. I'm just a vessel. I am just a channel. Okay. I am just a channel. And stuff like that happens with me all the time. I did not do that on purpose. I did not know that information. She said something. I saw a synchronicity. And it was more of a synchronicity than I realized. That's just the way my life is. So. But yeah. Um the putting in the work is already a lot of work then dealing with people is a different level of it's just a different level of having to deal with things because you just expect a person to do what they said they're gonna do you expect a person to abide by guidelines you expect people to abide by boundaries when they don't do that that's the thing that's weird that's the thing that's like okay but you said or but you never even said but you did i Ah, that's why I'd be like, fuck everybody. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Like, if we cool, we cool. If we not, I, 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 I don't it's too, it's too much going on. And I got to focus on these files that I got to turn into the government. Like, I have to turn in so many files to the government all the time. Because I be having things to do. Like, niggas got things to do. Worrying about a person and their feelings is not on my top priority list of things to do jeez but yeah anyway i'm gonna go um this is the life i chose though so hey that's why i'm just making content off of it i get paid regardless so i'm just gonna make content off of just talking <laughs> there you go what <laughs> this is the type of this is the life i built over the past like 10 years i've been doing content really 12 years but like 10 because like as consistent as i could throughout my childhood years but like this is the life i built so now i get paid to yap so i'm yapping and i'm getting paid to do it of course i have my uh productive stuff that i do get paid for which is great which is great and that's what i put forth as a priority otherwise sometimes i do just be yapping and i don't care i'm gonna get paid to yap i deserve it at this point i provided a lot so but yeah, anyway, like I said, I do have a book available if you want to learn about investing in real estate. And also, I have a new book that you could pre-order called Quadrillionaire Blockchain Derivatives Goddess. Yeah, um, I'll have the link for that on my page sometime soon. I'll get to it. I, I got this. It's just like, blah, blah. If you go to one of my last videos, it's the BET Awards one, the Celebrity Psychosis one. Um, it's in the link there in the description box. I got a link over there. But I just haven't put it over here on this page yet. But, yeah, man. I'm, I'm done yapping. I'm gonna go. Everybody get a grip. And this is, again, why I said I'm leaving social media 2025. I'm getting off of the internet for a good while. Focus on my projects that are not um, social media reliant. I will still, of course, have to use the internet. But I do not have to do this stuff all the time. This is really what I'm doing to have some sort of cons consistency in certain areas of my life and sharing the message because a lot of people who want to be content creators y'all don't know what come with this shit y'all don't know what people are strange people are strange and they make their problems your problem when it, it ain't got nothing to do with you outside of what you have already stated I'd be being careful with the way that I talk to people because I'd be like I don't know what this person expects from me I don't know but anyway Bye.